Okay, the first, the first major concept for the level three speeches that comes into play in chapter three is on page 39, where it talks about, it actually starts on page 38, but you see, see the examples on page 39, um, selecting a topic and then letting us know what the topic is when we read your outline, but also focusing yourself. What is my speech about? And to do that, we'll have a specific purpose and a central idea statement at the top of the outline. This is before your opening attention getter because while they're part of the outline, they're not part of your speech. So if you look at the 3A evaluation, you see it's part of your outline evaluation, not part of your speech evaluation. You should start your speech with your opening attention getter. You should start your outline with your specific purpose and central idea. And that will help you in planning your main points. Let me explain how. I want to use the hometown speech because I think it gives the clearest example of how these two things are important and understanding what they are. Then we'll back up to the 3A speech, which is the first speech where they're required. Uh, if you look at page 39, you see the format, specific purpose. I want to inform my audience about what? So that's the subject of your speech. Central idea is the takeaway. What is it I want my audience to know about my topic? I want my audience to understand that, go on from there. So in the lecture you saw about um, using PowerPoint and Prezi and the spatial pattern, if you've watched that, if you haven't, you'll see it later on, uh, there's a speech about my trip across the United States. And when we get to Memphis, we talk about how that enhances the communication process with those three points. And the three points were Graceland, Beale Street, and Sun Studios. And we said, if you were from Memphis, that could be the outline from your hometown speech. What's point three in that trip across the United States speech now gets pulled out to be a focus on the hometown of Memphis. And so in that case, I want to inform my audience about Memphis. And I want my audience to understand that Memphis is a musical hometown. Or that the music industry is important in Memphis. So the central idea is around music in Memphis. So we go to Graceland, Beale Street, Sun Studios. Now let's say you're doing a speech and you grew up here. I want to inform my audience about West Plains. I want my audience to understand that West Plains is what? A great place to have lunch. In that case, my three main points are going to be places I like to eat lunch. I want my audience to understand that West Plains is a, an historic town. So I'm going to take you to historic locations like um, the uh, historic city square, um, the battlefield where a Civil War battle was, uh, a cemetery that has graves from way back when, historic monuments or markers. I want my audience to understand that West Plains is a hotbed of paranormal activity. Then we're going to go to haunted places or ghost places. Um, the um, Part of history could be the Dance Hall Explosion, which is an important story in the history of West Plains. And there is a, a grave and a cemetery where a lot of those people were buried in a mass grave because it was such a violent explosion um, they weren't able to, to get everybody separated from the group. And the legend is that the gravestone will move by itself. So that's one of the more famous haunted places. Um, they say Putnam is also haunted because it has a history 
It wasn't always part of the university. It was a dental office, and the dentist uh, died in his office. Um, there are uh, houses around town. There's a bridge that's uh, reputed to have a light that glows, and the young boy that comes up to see you and will look in your window if you park on the bridge in dark nights sometimes. So those are the kinds of places we would go if I want my audience to understand that West Plains is an active paranormal community. If I'm talking about education, we would go to educational places like the university, like the Harlan Museum. Historical downtown could be educational in certain ways if you want to learn about history. So uh, what you want the audience to understand about your hometown should determine your main points. If you were going to the town where I live, Salem, Arkansas, I want my audience, I want to inform my audience about, audience about Salem. I want my audience to understand that Salem is a natural community. So I might not actually take you to places in the town, but near the town, like the uh, city park where you could go fishing, or the South Fork River that runs right through the edge of town, where you could go on a float trip, or some hiking trails, or some hunting places in the woods. And so I might take you outside of town near Salem, so they don't have to be in town. But if it's about nature, those are the places we're gonna go. So that's the point of specific purpose and central idea statement and help to clarify where you're going with your outline.